Well, hello and welcome to my channel. If you enjoy the ambience of historical towns, love cold weather and wide blankets of snow, enjoy good food, and are looking for fun and unique activities that you don't get to do anywhere else in the world, then Quebec City is definitely for you. This video will give you my top 10 recommendations for things to do and experience while you're visiting this beautiful city in the winter. So if you want to find out more, let's jump right in. If you happen to be in Quebec a few weeks before Christmas, you may be able to visit their European-inspired German Christmas markets, which are located throughout the old city at five different but very nearby locations. More than just a market, it is a small Christmas village designed to recreate as faithfully as possible the festive atmosphere of the major European Christmas markets. With its traditional wooden kiosks illuminated and decorated for the occasion, the German Christmas markets host more than 90 exhibitors from Quebec, Germany and Europe. Each section of the market is sponsored by a different local entity and is decorated somewhat differently. They provide a great selection of European food items such as bratwurst, mulled wine, gingerbread, churros, and even fondue on a funnel. In addition, they sell a few clothing, craft items, Christmas gifts, as well as a selection of local Canadian products, anything from wine, soaps, cheeses, and even jams and jellies. Number two, tour the Chateau Frontenac. Situated right next to the St. Lawrence River, the Chateau Frontenac, one of Canada's grand railway hotels, was built by the Canadian Pacific Railway in 1993. Interestingly, among their 600 plus rooms, they have a few themed suites, which are named after the heads of state and government that have visited the hotel, such as Prime Minister Winston Churchill, American President Franklin D. Roosevelt, as well as other famous people, such as Alfred Hitchcock and Celine Dion. If you want a more in-depth view of the hotel, you can take a one-hour guided tour with guys dressed as historical and significant characters from Quebec's past. Number three is to visit the Rue Petit Champlain, which you can access three different ways, by foot, funicular, or by using the breakneck stairs, that's what they call them. The famous and picturesque Petit Champlain Street is the oldest commercial district in North America. This postcode perfect street is lined with one-of-a-kind boutiques and restaurants, and it is run by an artisan cooperative who are basically responsible for revitalizing this area and bringing it back to life after it was abandoned. It was in such disarray that government officials had decided to destroy it to give way to a parking lot for a museum nearby. Can you imagine that? Thankfully, it was salvaged by this group of artisans and now this co-op regulates who is allowed to open a shop or residence here. The Petition Plain District isn't just illuminated for the holidays, it stays decorated all winter long, much to everyone's delight. It is the ideal place to bundle up for a winter evening stroll in an enchanting atmosphere straight out of a Christmas fairy tale.
Number four is to see the historic murals throughout the city. There are three historic trompe l'oeil murals in Quebec City, which depict several important historical figures or events of Quebec's past. These were commissioned between 1999 and 2008 to celebrate the 400 years of the city's existence. Number five is to have some soft serve ice cream. We learned that Quebec people have ice cream all year long, even in the winter. Two of the most famous chains are Chocolat Favorite and Chocolato, our favorite. The specialty here is you can get your soft serve ice cream enrobed in 20 different kinds of melted chocolate. They also make hot chocolate with those and a bunch of other desserts. Number six is to enjoy the unique treats of the area. How about some French onion soup? We were told French onion soup is a staple in Quebec, more so than in France where apparently they do it just for the tourists. So it's not hard to find a few establishments which offer this delicious soup. How about maple sugar on a stick? Or if you're really lucky, you may be able to find maple taffy on snow. We find a place where they actually make it for you on site. They also offer things like ice cider, ice wine, cheese curds, the list is endless. Number seven is to visit the Montmorency Falls. At 83 meters high, they are full 30 meters taller than Niagara Falls, believe it or not. The mist of the falls creates a mountain of snow, which they refer to as the sugar loaf, since it resembles a pile of sugar. In the winter, the St. Lawrence River freezes and people can walk from one side of the boardwalk to the sugar loaf. We are told to climb it and go tobogganing. Number 8 is to visit the Ile d'Orleans, which is an island located in the St. Lawrence River about 5 kilometers east of downtown Quebec City. Venturing through this island is a bit as walking into the past, as many of the structures have remained as they were originally. It was one of the first parts of the province to be colonized by the French, and a large percentage of French Canadians can trace their ancestry to the early residents of this island. Number 9 is to visit the magnificent basilica at saint anne de beaupre It is one of the four major shrines in Quebec and is also the oldest pilgrimage site in North America. It is located only 20 minutes from Quebec City and it welcomes almost a million visitors annually. For over 350 years, people of all ages have been gathering at this shrine dedicated to saint anne the grandmother of Jesus. Through the beauty of numerous artistic masterpieces, you can discover the extraordinary history of St. Anne and the important role she played in the faith of Catholics. Number 10 is to enjoy all the amazing food. We learned while in Quebec that the city is now a foodie town, although this was not always the case. From what we were told, the food used to be only average, as the city was seen as a tourist place for people who just came and went. It was difficult to find a good place to eat. The attitudes changed a few years back, and now locals and tourists alike have become regular customers of their many eating establishments. The cuisine has been elevated to such a degree that it's now hard to find a bad restaurant. From the small deli to the fancy restaurant, you won't be disappointed. And there you go, I hope you enjoy these 10 amazing experiences and things to do in Quebec during the winter. I've personally tried all these experiences and I can assure you, this only scratched the surface. I know, if you go, you'll fall in love with this beautiful city and will want to return time and time again. Thank you.